the modulation transfer function quantifies how well an imaging system such as a photographic film or a lens can reproduce or in other words transfer detail from the object to the image. It measures the contrast at various spatial frequencies. Spatial frequency refers to the level of detail in an image measured in cycles per millimeter. High spatial frequencies correspond to fine details while low spatial frequencies correspond to larger, coarser structures. At low spatial frequencies, film generally maintains high contrast. At higher spatial frequencies, the contrast diminishes, meaning the fine details are less distinctively reproduced. This information is shown in an MTF chart for each main color. A film MTF is a smooth curve, finer details get softer. Digital still or video has usually a huge peak at medium levels of detail and abruptly go to zero MTF at their native resolution. When the information gets above the native resolution of the sensor, digital images start haloing. I'll put a link in the description if you want to know more about MTF curves. Digital images compared to film look quite sharp but also unnaturally harsh. In this film image, notice how the image is not super sharp. Besides the noise, the details are visible but dimmed down. Same with this film image. Compare this with a digital image where it's almost unnaturally sharp. So in order to get a more filmic look from our digital photos, we need to soften the fine details. Let's get going. The first thing we need to do is to separate the image in low frequency and high frequency. So I'll need two duplicates. To get the low frequency or the low pass of an image, we can just use the Gaussian blur filter to blur it, which will filter out the fine details. For the high frequency part, I'll make a link duplicate of the Gaussian blur filter and move it to the high pass image. I'll add an inverge adjustment on top and group these two adjustments. When I set the blend mode of the group to average, we'll get the high pass image. Blend this with linear light, we get our original image back. This method works for RGB 8 documents. If you're using RGB 32, as I'm using right now, you can just subtract the blurred layer from the original image to get the high frequency and then use the add blend mode to get the original image back. To demonstrate this, I'll remove the high pass layer and while we're at it, let me change the blur size. I'll now make a duplicate of the original and move it to the top. Just as before, we need a linked duplicate of the blur filter which we need to put to the high pass image. Before we can subtract this blur, we need to make sure to unlink the blend options. If not, the original blur will also get the same blend mode. Now we can change the blend mode of the blur to subtract which gets us the high frequency. We can now add this back to the low frequency by setting the blend mode of this layer to add, which gets our original image back. To get the more filmic look, we can now apply a Gaussian blur on the high pass layer, which kind of simulates the MTF curve of film. Increase the blur radius gently so we get the subtle softness in the details. Let's zoom into the image to see the difference in more detail. Awesome! This looks much pleasing to the eye. When we add a film grain and adjust it to fit it with the image, we get the perfect filmic look. Keep in mind that the blur applied to the high pass should be quite gentle. When you zoom out, the difference is very subtle and probably even not visible in this YouTube video. By the way, we can go a step further by blurring each channel separately. As you might remember, the MTF curve was different for each channel. I already prepared this. We just have two additional copies of the high pass with the separate colors. Each color will have a different blur radius. As you might notice, this will introduce some slight natural color movements in the details of the image. Hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before leaving. Until the next video.